now upcoming <laughs> first video first pre-recorded video first run I should say from uh, Jez112 who isn't here unfortunately but I'll be commentating hopefully so I'll try and do a good job because I do moderate this game and I have run it in the past um, so I should know what I'm talking about <coughs> um, yeah so if you guys just hold on a quick minute I'm gonna try and do another transition let's hope it works also is chat is the chat overly working is the chat overly oh it is working thank god for that I don't think I have to leave it running that's kind of annoying but oh well okay so here comes the second, next transition boom uh, unmute that um, do let me know if the audio is not working it should be working uh, but obviously if it's not that's another problem for my end so uh, if you guys don't know Kingdom Rush is a originally a flash game then was ported to mobile since it was a massive success um, uh, it's made by I actually can't remember I'm really sorry about that I can't remember who made it but the um, it is an Argentinian dev team I believe no Uruguayan they're from Uruguay I have spoken to them before um, they're really nice guys and the first run we'll be seeing is Silver Oak Forest which is one of the first levels it's actually the fourth I believe and this is uh, easy difficulty shouldn't be a problem there please tell me the, the audio is working So if you guys don't know, Kingdom Rush is a um, tower defense game. You build um, towers, you can have archers, magic... Ah, uh, god, sorry. Archers, uh, magic, these weird bomb things. And you can also have these, like, mercenary guys. So, um, right now we can see Jez has made one archer and one magic. The archers are generally good against uh, human opponents, so bandits, which you'll see on the screen up there, and the uh, magic guys are good against um, unarmored and generally uh, non-human creatures. You also get heroes, which is not in the flash version of this game. You'll see in the top left, Jez has a hero called Magnus, um, so he puts that where the enemies come out. So here, for example, you see spider enemies. Uh, those guys will be good <laughs> to use magic against for whatever reason he hasn't. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so you call waves like that. Actually, I forgot to mention that the um, time only starts when you call the first wave. So you can actually build towers before the wave starts. <coughs> and, of course, you can upgrade the towers and so. So that's what you just saw there. That was an upgrade. In the bottom left, you'll see two uh, kind of regen circle things. Those are the two kind of power-ups you get. So you've got um, those, the reinforcements, which is literally just two guys with swords. Um, you just put them down over that regen every 10 seconds. So you'll see those guys at the bottom fighting and throwing spears. That's the reinforcements right there. And the other guys, uh, the other, sorry, the other kind of power-up you get is that um, rock thing, which is basically like a meteor strike. It's like an area of effect thing. You put it down and everyone basically dies who's in that um who where it hits but it does take a long time to regen 80 seconds i believe or well, they might be different for mobile so you'll see here uh top left 15 waves for this level um currently at six it generally you can call waves they overlap each other so you'll see the little skull and crossbones kind of or the skull that appears and you tap on that for there you go there's right there you tap on those for the ways to come obviously for um speed runs you want to tap those as soon as possible or well, except the first one obviously you want to prep uh so here are some of the non-human enemies those are really easy to kill by magic you'll see that they get one shot practically by the magician <coughs> or the upgraded magician i should say because this magician is not upgraded <laughs> probably should have upgraded um yeah you get money obviously from killing the enemies and then you can buy more towers uh you have 20 lives and each enemy that um gets through to the end takes one life away now i'm not sure about this run generally most speed runs are 100 percent and it's marked on a system of stars so 
you get three stars um, if you haven't lost any lives or have only lost a couple of lives. And um, <clears throat> there's also a difficulty. So you can, there is um, easy, medium, hard, obviously difficulty. And there's also, uh, if you complete, for example, uh, the level here, Silveric Forest, on the easy or medium or hard difficulty, you can then unlock it in a, a different mode called Iron Mode or Heroic Mode. So there's that kind of replayability as well. And it's quite a long game. There's cool stories and everything. There's cutscenes and stuff. You can also buy this game on Steam. Um, so it can be played on PC as well as mobile and web. Um, so yeah, obviously this is the mobile version. And uh, you'll see right now, <coughs> it doesn't get, I should say too interesting, I find it interesting, but you'll see that most of these runs are putting as many towers and people at the very beginning, because obviously you want to kill the enemies as quick as possible, and uh, they will die, you know, the quicker you kill them, uh, the faster the run will be, and that only happens if you put, if you try and kill them as soon as they spawn in at the bottom of the screen. And you'll see other levels, um, this can be abused like so much. You can put tons of towers, you can put giant um, heroes and stuff uh, right at the very, very start of the level. So all the world records are basically like that. And I do believe that this is looking like a world record. Yeah. Sorry, this is only the background is because of the um, on mobile. I had so many different dimensions that I had to make the pick the uh, you know the overlay really massive. But you'll see on the other uh, overlays when we get some web runs and some um, portrait mobile runs, you can definitely see more of the backgrounds. <laughs> it's what I thought it counts. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so this should be a world record. I did forget to start the timer, so that's my fault. But there is, um, we recently found a discrepancy. Oh, there you go. So that's a three star victory. Pretty easy stuff. Yeah, so here we go. The next one is Twin River, which is actually an earlier level. Again, easy difficulty. Should be. Alright. Now I've got to try and tighten the sickness up, so because I did forget to start the timer beforehand. Yeah, this level is quite interesting in that uh, it's start one st spawn path, but then they can diverge. So you want to kill everyone ideally before they start diverging. <coughs> I'll try and start the timer for this one. There we go. Did it work? No, it didn't work. There we go. I got the wrong key. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Um, so yeah, on this level, you get a um, lot less money to start off with. You can't. You can only be buy two or three towers, but um, you do. You can use. I mean, that hero does look quite overpowered. In reality, it doesn't do too much damage. Um, but you, it has been kind of tricky finding out um, which heroes are doing are for uh, best or which levels as well. Um, because we don't, it's not super optimized. We do have about five consistent runners or so who submit runs um, quite consistently. Um, but yeah, again, it's not that optimized. And we actually recently found out that there is a time discrepancy between how fast the game runs on the mobile and the web and on PC. So I do believe it's a lot faster on uh, mobile. So. Currently, the lead wars haven't been. Uh, we haven't managed to analyze that, so the lead wars haven't really been split. But hopefully, we'll get around to doing that. <coughs> oh shit! There's no volume. Can someone confirm that? Because otherwise, oh no, you're right. There is no volume. What's wrong with that? Uh, why is there no volume? Oh, I do believe that's Jez's run that he just doesn't have any background noise. Um, hopefully that's the case. It's not showing that there should be any volume coming up, so I do think that's his fault, not mine. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
so you can see again not very much gets past the first section of the level um, yeah we're, um, we're guessing most um, runs will be shorter than the estimated time but even if you do get a little longer that doesn't really matter because we do have um, obviously time in between each run for like in case that happens and stuff so yeah <laughs> please if you do get world record on the screen that would be amazing <laughs> please do that <laughs> um, yeah so these videos we've got um, they're just pre-recorded on mobile there's uh, a couple apps you can use I use AZ Recorder and stuff, but you just basically record your screen. On our, of course, on iOS now and some Android devices, you can. There is a built-in recorder. Um, but yeah, and then they're all submit to us. Hopefully, that answers your question. Uh, I mean, you could stop for tea if you wanted, or just mess around or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe showcase some glitches. That would be quite British of you if you did really want to stop for tea. Um, yeah, so you'll see, <coughs> again, not much going on, they're all just being killed at the beginning. You really just want to spawn in that those reinforcements as soon as you can, spawn in that, uh, you know, drop those um, meteors as soon as they respawn and you've got a decent amount of enemies on screen. <coughs> yeah, this run is on an iPad, hence the black bars everywhere, so I'm sorry about that guys, but other runs will have less black bars. Um, rather than it's not mobile, it's uh, iPad and it has been recorded in iOS. <coughs> um, of course, after this, we've got another couple of videos from Jez, and then we've got a very nice um, <coughs> we've got a flash run made by I believe it's the current world record holder for um, the web version of Kingdom Rush, so we'll see. But yeah, so time's coming up quite soon. You'll see the thing pop up. I can't really see it, I've made it really small on my screen, so that's my fault. Again, this is just how you abuse the game. It shouldn't really have this much money or be killing everyone at the start of the game. And also, it might be worth noting that you only get heroes in the Steam and web versions of the game, and not the Flash version. So it is, uh, we do have kind of, uh, on the leaderboards it is mentioned which version of the game it's on, but we should really get around to separating them, we just haven't had time to analyse um, which versions are actually faster, like I said, that's recently due to Discovery. And time. So I actually timed that badly. Uh, should be around four minutes, something or other. But all these runs obviously will be submitted afterwards. Again, the next is the outskirts. This is much faster, much shorter. I think I've actually put all the runs backwards. Oops. But oh well. Uh, hopefully it should work. So start there. Okay. So you actually started right at the beginning. Uh, this one is one that's easily abused. There's only one path the whole way through. Um, so you just need to put your guys as close to the entrance as the beginning. Uh, I think the run after this is the greatest one. Oh, we've got audio on this one. Do we have audio on this one? Yep, guys, don't forget for the challenges for the competition. PM Strange Creature Studio in the description. In the, uh, sorry, in the Twitch chat. And um, you can see all the information is at the bottom. The reason I didn't put uh, PBs, by the way, for these is because uh, all the estimated time is because we, it's not for the entire slot section, if that makes sense. We'll do that for all the other runs. Um, so that'll be a lot easier. But um, we have three or four IL runs, which means it's harder to say how long it will be. It'll be like five minutes. And Jez doesn't actually have PBs at the moment. 
No worries, you can, uh, obviously this runs for like another 10 hours, guys. So you can, you can join in at any time. There's no particular rush or anything. Is there a reason for the stream being 614p? Is it 614p? That's a weird dimension. I didn't do that on purpose. Don't see why it's not 1080p. It might just be uh, Jose's video. Okay, let's see the weird dimensions. So, hopefully I'll have time to fix that. <laughs> yeah, again, as you can see, literally just the reinforcements just killing everyone that's like on the very edge of the screen. This is something that's pretty common. Oh no. Did it just die? Unlimited power. Uh, was that just me? Yeah, it was just me. Okay, I have no idea why. That's super weird. I have no idea why. That. I think it's 614p because of the strange dimensions. Um, hopefully that will change. If not, someone help. <laughs> but we'll figure that out later. So yeah, as you'll see... This is close to the end now already. Again, this is quite a short one, and everyone just gets killed at the edge of the screen. It's pretty, pretty common uh, for this game. We don't have a lot of runners actually. Uh, I did want to get it in a mobile competition at one point, but we never did. Uh, that's time. Two forty-seven fifty-two. Not bad. That's probably world record as well. I should. Now this is the last one from Jez. After this, we have a run from the sharpest knife, who is the web runner. Um, this one's quite a fairly long one, but I do believe Pagras Easy is the best, like the easiest one to abuse. So we'll see for that. I'll turn the volume up. Pocus, pocus, power, oh, unlimited power. Oh god, it's a kind of magic. Archers ready. So you'll see, as I said, Knowledge is power. you can start building. Oh, I forgot to time time again. You can start building well before um, the time actually starts, which is not usual, I guess, for speedruns. Yeah, see you later, Citrus. Of course, Citrus will be running a couple a game later on, so do tune in for that. <coughs> yeah, I definitely need to turn this down. Reinforce. Sorry about that, guys. It's really weird. Some of his runs have no audio, some of them are really loud. But yeah, as I was saying, it's uh, quite unusual, I suppose, to see. Oh, yeah, just one. Uh, I think everyone's running one except. I can't say his name. Theoink? I don't know. The Canadian guy. <laughs> He's running two games, and obviously I'll be doing uh, bits of Goemi, Goem, Goemi throughout the stream as well. Yeah, see you later, Citrus. <coughs> yeah, as I said, um, unusual. You can build, you can start building before the time starts. Um, that was a decision we took on purpose because there was a bit of confusion as to when the time should start. Should it start when you load in? And it originally did, and then someone submitted a run that was really optimised and they didn't start until they clicked on the skull thing, and then I tried it and it seemed fine, so we've we've just gone with that ever since. Uh, yeah, it tends to be on mobile and web, you know, they're not as classically run um, games as most speed games, you know, console and PC stuff, and that's because, you know, you haven't been able to play web games or mobile games for as long as you've been able to play PC games. So we do have a few unusual rules and stuff like that. Um, unusual tendencies. But it's all part of the fun, really. And that's why we have our own little um, marathons and streams. And uh, actually, if you guys are watching last year and apparently also in this year's um, <coughs> games on quick I'm not sure which ones we finally did get a mobile game in Catbird which will also be run in this marathon but not by the same guy um, which is really cool to see 
at um, a GDQ event. It's the first time, first mobile game ever at a GDQ event, and hopefully not the last. And maybe one day we'll get some web games in. Although, um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I doubt my hopes too high for that. But yeah. All very well and good. As you can see, again, arches and magic towers. The later you get into the game, the more you'll start using um, the, we call them big berthers, which is like giant cannons, basically, that fire cannonballs or explosives. They're the four, one of the four tower types. Um, we'll generally use those later. The um, mercenary guys, the troops, barracks, there you go, that's the name. They tend to actually not be used that much because um, you can actually just most of the time use reinforcements if you spam them. So it's not really actually that neat to use towers. <coughs> I hope for them to do Mardo. Just so you can see even farther CD play. Okay. Why does my. Well, I have the stream on the second screen, but it keeps crashing and telling me there's a network error. So I keep thinking, oh no, the stream's gone down, but it's just me. Um, what do you mean, Ultra Real Leo? Mada for in uh, Kingdom Rush. I have no idea what you mean by that. Sorry. <laughs> oh. So yeah, this is the last wave. Obviously, the waves get longer as you go along. But as I said, you can easily just you put your hero, you put reinforcements, and then put some stuff at the beginning. I think we'll be coming up close to time now. Oh crap, that's time. Almost. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Oh yeah, so here are the big bosses. These are these orcs. I was going to say, I thought they were orcs. Um, you get these usually on the final waves, but they're so easy to deal with. It's really not that hard. <coughs> but yeah, the further one you get in the game, the more you get the big. the. Uh, big berthers. Um, and you obviously, there's obviously story as well. You do get um, these little cutscenes and these boss levels and stuff. Um, so that's kind of the story behind it. So these guys are shamans, for example. Normally they respawn, they either heal themselves or spawn a bunch of themselves. Uh, so one of them just did it. But at this level, you can kill them so fast that it tends not to happen. Um, so yeah, I do wish we had a bit of later gameplay, but um, those levels are much longer, so we wouldn't have had so many ILs. And that is time. 5.45, that's pretty good, although I did time it badly. That's my fault. <coughs> 